Hello and welcome back to another Demi Salon tutorial. Today we're going to make a synth wave pluck slash pad and we're going to do this in Union because it's got two analog style oscillators as well as the wavetable. So I've already exported a wavetable from Serum that I'm going to use in this project as well and I'm going to demonstrate the new wavetable feature that is within Union. So if we take a look at oscillator 3 here you usually have to generate the wavetable from these two oscillators using these effects as well. But with the new feature, you can click here and navigate to the wavetable, and we have two loading sections now here as well as two save sections. So what I'm going to do is click on the load and click desktop, and I've saved Trilobite here from, it's one of the spectral wavetables, I think, from Serum. And I'm going to load that into both sides. So now we've got a wavetable that's been uh, loaded in, with no activation of these two whatsoever. So what does this sound like currently? Okay, so sounds normal. And we're gonna turn this into a pluck. This one we'll use 32 unison, and then we'll use one of the other oscillators, probably oscillator one, so if we just turn two off anyway, that will be processing about 16 unison or something like that, we'll do about half, and we'll get this lovely, lush, thick sound. So, first things first, let's go into the wavetable editor, and I'm gonna create a pluck, so I'm gonna put it to about there, click and drag here, and about four seconds with, a bit of a sharpish decay there, it kind of gets a bit quicker as it gets to the bottom. So there's a nice overlap of harmonic content there, it doesn't quite reach zero. I like that, this is set at 95 beats per minute as well. And I'm going to use some modulation to kind of give it a nice flow in the uh, kind of analog sense. So in the LFO, I'm going to set this LFO to one bar. I'm just going to drag this over here, create another point here. I'm going to go quite drastic. I'm just going to make a couple of humped curves here, which uh, we'll call mountain curves. And then we'll have this here. So we've got a bit of a fall off there. So we've kind of got something that resembles two mountains. And what we're gonna do here, because it's moving so slowly through these and the higher this is, the further the modulation will happen, we are gonna put this onto the phase. So if we listen to what happens when we automate the phase, we get a bit of a pitch bending feel to it. And that's just like classic analog. So we're gonna click twice on here so it turns blue, which is linked to the LFO and turn the phase to three o'clock and then we've kind of at nine o'clock sorry and then we have our nine to three kind of modulation that's happening here and it sounds really nice already uh, and same time i'm going to attach this to the fine tune so click it till it's blue drag this you can hear there too much so i'm just going to dial it back Sounds absolutely beautiful. And this will work really well in your synthwave stuff. So at the moment, we're only uh, working with one unison at the moment. So we're going to up that to 32, like we said we was going to do. Up that detune a little bit. Turn this down. And then introduce some resonance, and that'll give you a bit of a crispy top. Beautiful. And we're going to hit the mod ADSR and we're going to have it just a little bit more open than it is in its default position. And we're going to automate the detune so it kind of jumps up to, uh, say, 70 to 80% detune and then back down until it gets to this point. And if we turn that off. Back on. We get that lovely kind of off-tune sound that you'd get from an analog synth, and it just sounds amazing. It really does. And that's an outside wavetable that's in here. So I'm done with that one. I'm now going to add a square, I think, in this one. It's either a saw or a square. And we're going to up that to 16 unison. 
uh, and just be wary of your computer's uh, power as Unis, uh, Union actually uses quite a, an intricate um, algorithm in the background that actually uh, makes the sound analog style. So it will take a little bit of your CPU, especially if you're increasing to 32 unison voices. It's absolutely nuts what you can do with this thing. So with unison set to 16 and my performance of computer in mind, I am going to hit and create a similar setup that we've just done there. Bit of a peek there. Click, drag, about four seconds. And I'm going to give this a bit of a steeper curve so it, it tails off a lot quicker. And we're just going to hit this. Yeah, that's the sound we want. Bit of detune, but we're going to do the same with the mod ADSR. And I'm going to hit it so it's a lot quicker than the other one. And we're going to tune that up a little bit further than we did on the other one. Bear in mind this is all to taste. Do whatever you want to make the sound. I'm going to turn this down, this up a bit, just to add a little bit of crispiness on the top. And then we're going to do the same thing with the phase, and we're going to have 9 to 3 phase modulation. So let's put this on to 1. And we'll create a bit more of a drastic one. So we'll go full volume here. And then we'll go right down here. And then we'll go about halfway here like that. Create a little bit of a bump on each one. If we can curve them round. There. So we've got a little bit of a different shape there. Let's just make that a bit more obvious there. And then we should have... Click the wrong one there. Yep, got it attached already. And the same again with this fine tune here. Click it till it's blue. A little bit up. Sounds absolutely realistic. And that is just the best sounds that you can get out of here. So what can we do to emphasize this sound? So do we want to emphasize the pluck a little bit? Yes, we do. Do we want some velocity control? Yes, we do. So I'm going to hit the velocity control to about 80%. And what that's doing is when I'm building the voicings with the chords, if some of the notes are a bit quieter, Union is now going to recognize that. So first things first, let's add a little bit more thickness using the chorus. Just increase the default setting to about... 40 sounds good, a bit more depth. So that's off. And then on. So it's just adding a little bit more thickness to the sound. Now, to give it a little bit more bite, I'm going to add some distortion and I'm going to add some EQ. So I'm going to drag the EQ so it's before the distortion. And on the distortion, we're going to leave it on tube and that's just chuck churn this up a little bit and let's put it on digital okay so it just gives it a little bit of bite but I don't want the mix to be permanently up so effects LFO and we are going to reverse this and turn it into a envelope that is just going to pluck the sound pretty sharp as well as you can see there. We're going to set it to trigger mode and then when we jump into the distortion there you go click once for uh, LFO 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively so we're using 1. I'm going to jump that to about 80%. So it just gives a little bit more bite on that first part of the sound and then we're going to do the same here with this one number one to it and increase the top EQ. So that sounds good and then I'm going to boost this one as well. Just increase that a bit. That sounds better. Okay so from here we're going to add some delay. So 
send the feed down. Turn the top end down a bit. Okay, sounding wonderful so far. And then finally, I'm going to add dynamics and reverb, and in that order as well. So on the reverb, I'm going to hit hold. I'm going to increase the tail to about 90%, high pass to about 300, because I don't want any low kind of reverberation in there. Damp down, LP up, about 9 o'clock ish. Don't want too much reverb in for you to sing the sound. I'm going to turn this game down. Okay, and then we're going to increase this attack a little bit with some compression here. Slow release out, about four to one. Okay, and then we're going to add this uh, wavetable in as well. So you can see the computer is struggling here. I am uh, doing some other tasks which I shouldn't have done. Uh, I've got a couple of videos exporting for future videos on this channel and it's already starting to show uh, signs of a lot of unison is having an effect. So, and there's a lot more data in this particular wavetable as well. Um, but you're getting the idea, if we just reduce that down to 16 at unison, and what it's doing with all this uh, unison is it's creating a very complex sound, uh, unlike some other synths out there. And it's uh, it does hog a bit of CPU, especially if you're running a lower end machine. Mine's kind of mid range, but uh, it's not designed to deal with stuff like this, really. Okay, so I have added this third oscillator in. I reduced it to 16. Uh, I've got a couple of other tasks being performed on the computer at this moment, and uh, it's taking up a lot of CPU. So just to save your ears, I've dropped this down to 16, and it still sounds just as lush with this added in. Uh, but this is what the final sound sounds like. Now, if we want, we could drop this an octave and just listen to that beautiful 80s-ness. All right, sorry about that, just having a bit of a jam there. So this is the kind of final pluck here. So I might as well just give you that for free um, and to go along with the other, uh, I think I've done two trans presets for this already, but... Um, I'll save that for you and you can find it via the link to my website down below. It's the third link in the top link section and you'll be able to get a copy of this. So uh, just to quickly go over before the video is finished, the bass is coming from Tal Uno LX and all I've done, I can easily recreate this for you now, which is probably going to be easier for you. So I'll just duplicate that so I'm not editing the original. Okay, um, Tal Uno LX. I'm just going to do this and then it's just definitely initialized the preset. There you are. Sounds pretty horrible right now. So I'm going to drop it an octave to start with. And I'm just going to walk you through the process. So here we go. I'm going to add some chorus. And I'm going to add the chorus number two, but not going to add number one or both. That sounds just about right. And we're using the saw and the square sub oscillator here. So first things first, bring the frequency down and bring up the envelope. And then to get that luckier sound, change the envelope here. And there we are, we have that. Just open up the filter some more. If you wanted it a bit louder, or we can increase the frequency here and the release, the resonance, sorry.
bit of modulation and we'll just leave it there and that is that's it that's all the sound was so easy enough to recreate there without the preset so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing some synthwave i actually enjoyed making this preset sounds uh sounds quite nice to say it's just an off the cuff sound and thumbs up for union because damn does this thing have a good sound for analog style music and to use it in synthwave i think is going to be a big issue uh so look out for more tutorials coming from me on that sort of topic as well so thank you very much for watching hit the subscribe button i upload three times a week monday wednesday and friday possibly changing to saturday that friday uh, but i will let you know in due course and finally hit like and drop me a comment i answer everybody down in the comment section so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye.